The glorious Quran in chapter 5 verse 116 narrates an interaction between Almighty God and Jesus Christ on the day of judgment. وَإِذَا قَالَ اللَّهُ يَا عِيسَى بْنُ مَرْيَمَ أَأَنْتَ قُلْتَ لِلنَّاسِ اتَّخِذُونِ وَأُمِّي إِلَى حَيْنِ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ Allah is asking Jesus Christ, Did you say to men, worship me and my mother as two gods besides Allah? Then Jesus Christ will say, قَالَ سُبْحَانَكَ مَا يَكُونُ لِي أَنْ أَكُولَ مَا لَيْسَ لِي بِهَكْ إِنْ كُنْتُ قُلْتُهُ فَقَدْ أَلِمْتَ تَأْلَمُ مَا فِي نَفْسِ وَلَا أَلَمُ مَا فِي نَفْسِكْ إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ أَلَّامُ الْغُيُوبِ Never did I say such a thing which I had no right to say. If I had said such a thing, you would surely have known it. You know what is in my inner self, though I do not know yours truly. Only you are the all-knower. Then Jesus Christ will say, "Ma kultu lahum illa ma amartani bihi anibudullah rabbi wa rabbakum." Never did I say to them except to worship my Lord and your Lord. So the Quran categorically says that Jesus Christ told the people to worship the Creator and not Him, not His mother, not anyone. And the Christians need to recognize these statements of the Quran only if they find verses in the Bible confirming the same. The advice of Jesus Christ regarding the commands and teachings of earlier prophets can be seen in Gospel of Matthew chapter 5 verses 18 and 19. Jesus Christ told the people, Do not think that I have come to destroy the law or the prophets. I have not come to destroy, but to fulfill. I say unto you, Till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle from the law shall not perish, unless all are fulfilled. And whosoever break even the least commandment and teach others so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. And whosoever do and teach others so, he shall be called the great in the kingdom of heaven. So Jesus Christ told the people that I have not come to teach something new or something entirely different from what the earlier prophets taught, but only to fulfill their teachings. And in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 5 verses, Seven to nine, you get the greatest commandment. Almighty God says, Thou shalt have none other gods before me. Thou shalt not make any graven image or likeness of anything in the heaven above or in the earth beneath or in the water beneath the earth. Thou shalt not bow thyself before them nor serve them. So clearly the Bible says you should only worship the creator and not the creations. And in book of Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 4 it is stated Hear O Israel the Lord our God the Lord is one. And Jesus Christ said the same thing without any difference as can be seen in gospel of Mark chapter 12 verse 29. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. By using the word our God, Jesus Christ admits that he comes under God's creation. And how can Christians say that God and Jesus are one and the same? When Jesus himself stated as can be seen in Gospel of Mark chapter 10 verse 18, Why do you call me good? No one is good except God alone. By using the word alone, Jesus Christ has given exclusivity to God Almighty. <clears throat> if Jesus Christ was God or part of the so-called Trinity, he would not have said so. How can the Christians contend that Jesus and God are one and the same? When Jesus Christ himself stated, as can be seen in Gospel of John chapter 5 verse 37, you have never seen his face, nor heard his voice. So Jesus says, no one has seen God. No one has heard God. But when Jesus Christ was alive, people have seen Jesus, heard Jesus, touched Jesus. How can Christians contend that Jesus and God are one? 
when it is stated in gospel of mark chapter 16 verse 19 jesus sat on the right side of god in heaven even in heaven god and jesus are separate how can christians contend that jesus and the holy spirit are one and the same when it is stated in gospel of matthew chapter 12 verse 32 a wrong done or said against jesus christ will be pardoned but not against the holy spirit not in this world nor in the other world so even in the other world jesus and the holy spirit are separate as per the earlier verse jesus and god are separate and how can christians worship the creations when it is stated in the book of romans chapter 1 verse 25 who has turned the truth of god into a lie and worship the creature more than the creator so i kindly request my dear christian brothers to accept what is stated in the quran and confirmed by the bible that jesus christ is neither god nor son of god but rasul and ila bani israel that he is a messenger from god and christians need to recognize that jesus christ is a messenger from allah only if they find verses in the bible confirming the same the reaction of jesus christ when the his own people ridicule jesus christ is seen in gospel of matthew chapter 13 verses 53 to 57 jesus entered his own country and preached in their synagogue then the people were astonished they said when has this man got all these wisdom and these mighty works is he not the carpenter's son is not his mother called mary and his brothers james and joseph and simon and judah and his sisters are they not all with us and they got offended in him and they said when has this man got all these things and jesus christ told them a prophet is honored everywhere except in his own country and among his own people so jesus said this when the people in his own country his own people ridiculed him and again in gospel of matthew chapter 21 verses 10 and 11 it is stated when jesus entered the city of jerusalem the entire crowd was moved and they said who is this and the multitude said this is jesus the prophet of nazareth the people did did not say that he is god he's son of god but a prophet again in gospel of luke chapter 7 verse 16 it is stated a great fear came on all of them and they glorified god saying that a great prophet has risen up among us people said a great prophet has risen up among us and again in gospel of luke chapter 24 verse 19 it is stated they asked unto him who is jesus about jesus and they said jesus is a prophet of nazareth mighty in deeds and words before god and all the people and in gospel of john chapter 7 verse 17 it is stated they asked the blind man what say of him that he has opened thine eyes and the blind man said he's a prophet so they asked the blind man who is jesus he got his eyesight back so he said he's a prophet why because he would have asked jesus about that and jesus would have said he's a prophet and even paul in acts of apostles chapter 3 verse 13 says the god of abraham and of isaac and of jacob has glorified his servant jesus how can servant and master be one and the same so i kindly request my dear christian brothers to accept what is stated in the quran and confirmed by the bible that jesus christ is neither god nor son of god but a mighty great messenger from god next let us consider the requirement for salvation in islam and christianity 